Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for joining us for worship on this special day. Today is Easter Sunday, a day when we celebrate that Jesus was alive. Something you might remember that we often say to one another on Easter Sunday is this. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. So I'll say, Christ is risen. And you say, he is risen indeed. Let's try that together. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. One of the reasons we say this to one another is because we are celebrating. We are celebrating the fact that even though Jesus died, he rose again. Now this Easter Sunday feels pretty different than it has in the past. Things in the world feel pretty scary right now. We're not able to get together and celebrate. Many people are staying in their homes. And actually, that's probably pretty close to how the disciples and followers of Jesus were feeling. You might remember from last week, the disciples came into Jerusalem with Jesus on Palm Sunday. They shared a meal together on what we call Maundy Thursday, but then Jesus was arrested and killed. This was a really sad and confusing time for the disciples. And it's a sad and confusing story for us to hear still. It's okay to feel sad about that story and about all that's happening in the world right now. But the amazing thing is that God's love is with us in sad times and in joyful times and in everything in between. So let's listen to the story of when the women found the empty tomb, which is the place where Jesus was buried. We're reading again from Growing in God's Love, thanks to the folks again at Flyaway Books for letting us share these stories with you. And this version of the story is from the Luke account. Let's listen together. Women at the Tomb The story was not over for Jesus when he died. Jesus had been dead for more than a day. Early on the morning of the third day, Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and other women who loved Jesus went to the tomb where he had been taken. They walked sadly and quietly, carrying sweet-smelling spices to place on his body. When they got to the tomb, they were surprised. The stone was rolled away from the cave opening. They looked in, but Jesus was not there. The women were confused and scared. Who had moved the body? Suddenly, two men in shiny white clothes stood next to them. Afraid, the women turned away. The men said, this is where the dead are kept. Jesus is not here. He has been raised to life. Remember what he said when you were with him in Galilee? He said that the one sent from God will be taken by those who don't believe in him. This one will be killed. But on the third day, this one from God will rise to life again. The woman remembered that Jesus had told them these things. They ran back to the disciples eager to tell them the good news. Jesus is alive, shouted the women, but the disciples didn't believe Mary of Magdala. They didn't believe Joanna. 
They didn't believe Mary, the mother of James. They didn't believe any of the women. But Peter wasn't sure. He ran to the tomb. When he got there, he looked inside. This time, the two men in shining white clothes were not there. Peter saw only the cloth that had covered Jesus, but no body. He walked away, wondering if it could be true. Was Jesus really alive? So in this story, we hear some of the confusion, the sadness, and the hope that Jesus' followers were feeling. A whole mix of emotions all together. And maybe you're feeling like that too. Sometimes sad, sometimes confused, sometimes hopeful. Let's share those moments of hope with each other today. You may have seen that next week we are putting together a video of little bits of good news to share. And we need your moments of hope. Where do you see God's love and hope in the world today? You can find instructions for submitting on our website, and we look forward to sharing that next week. So, friends, will you share hope with me today? Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. Thank you for joining me.